Hey you, yes you. So, it seems you have mastered the way of adding decals to your aircraft, but that's not enough for you. So you have decided to wrap a camouflage for your favorite plane but don't know how to. Worry not, because I am here to show you Rafi's way of wrapping camo. The most important thing we must have is good references. This image shows us how the shapes of the livery should look, how long, how wide, and angled it must be. The image you should get should have a top, side, and bottom view of the aircraft. Before I start tracing and cutting, I must explain how and why I do it this way. To me this is how I've always wrapped a skin and so far it has worked 99.99% of the time. This technique requires you to be able to divide and trace a specific part of the livery, and separate them into the amount of decals required to fit neatly on the surface. We must also be able to connect and divide them correctly, or there will be gaps in the wrap. As you can see here, we got the top and side view of our aircraft livery. We can see that the camo is only two color, and it's multiple curved lines not connected to others. You can pick which of the two colors you want to wrap, it is preferred to pick the least abundant color or the easiest. So in game we change the aircraft color to gray, and we'll wrap the green. Now, there's hard parts and easy parts to wrap. The easy parts requires minimal cuts, while the hard parts requires a lot of cuts. The first thing we are going to do is select the parts of the livery we are going to do and separate it. I'll be doing the wing and the part of the fuselage. Now we'll divide the livery with the correct amount of divisions, so that it can wrap around the aircraft. Now that we've separated each part, we'll create each decals. You should also upload squares and triangles of the colors used, so that if there's something we got to cover up or make like this, we can do it. We should now have multiple pieces that connect perfectly. You should already know how to add the decal in this video and wrap in this video. So I'll just show you how I connected them together. Here is the decal I created previously. And to know where to put, I used reference points of the aircraft. Here I used the colored squares to create this small part. As you can see here, I separated the decals into the correct amount of side the intake has. I also used the squares to connect two decals together so that it doesn't look separated.
Here we can see what it looks like with and without the square to connect. This is the end of the tutorial. I feel like this video is missing something, but I can't figure it out, so if you need help write a comment, and I'll try to respond.